This is the way we want to answer your question, even if it's not the question you ask. Never mind what you want. This is what we want. <laughs> you are more non physical than you are physical, but you are so good at translating vibration into something that is meaningful and tangible that you're hooked on that. And we get it. There isn't anything more delicious than for you to have launched a rocket about this and this and this and this and this and this know what I don't want want this instead know what I don't want want this instead and then the gathering of the cooperative components has happened and you still can't describe it none of you could describe the contents of your vortex because first of all it's not seeable it's knowable though but it is evolving so fast as the cooperative components as your variety of desires meld together they actually become more because that's the nature of what law of attraction does as the cooperative components are gathered what's in your vortex which is the preceding of what's going to manifest for you is bigger than any of you could describe much bigger than any of you could describe and so when you are relaxed and not fussing over stuff and meditating and allowing your vibration to rise and basking more and fixated more on positive aspects and looking for reasons to feel good until that's sort of the trend of your point of attraction then this vortex starts becoming you get a sensation an impulse and you go and you meet someone you get an impulse and you wake up and something you've been wondering about is clear in your mind suddenly you know what to Google to get to what you're looking for or who to call in other words the path of least resistance becomes bright and clear and intoxicating once you get on that role where there's still a lot that's unknown but there's so much that is good feeling and fun that's unfolding that you're really getting the hang of this and then something that you've been wanting happens ah. It happens well so then then you can connect those dots then you can associate that's what it feels like right before something happens that's that feeling of anticipation that we're asking you all to kind of taste for feel for listen for reach for but this is the point that we're making with all of that rambling that did feel good to you we get it that what you want is the bursting into the scene part that is the most exciting part I want it 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 but there's a little I want it don't have it I want it don't have it I want it don't have it but I want it I want it I want it I've got it that feels really really good when you've been looking for something and there it is we get why you're hooked on manifestation we want you to be it's why you came into this this physicality is supposed to turn thoughts to things because the things that have been turned into from the thoughts are more than the thoughts that were there before they were things this is the leading edge of creation it is logical we want you to want that we just don't want you to need it because when you need it then you block it and that's why you want to feel for it before it is would you like someone to give you a surprise party some people like it and some people don't but if you want somebody to give you a surprise party that dear friend that spoils the surprise because she knows you want to get your nails done <laughs> sort of takes the fun out of the surprise surprise and delight 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 Nestor used to say I get why I would be delighted with unfoldings but I don't get why I would be surprised because if I'm creating my own reality why would I be surprised and we say because you can't even fathom the combining of your desires and the clever ways that they talk about situational comedy in other words the universe is so funny with you it can answer 25 or 35 or 45 or 55 or more things that you care about all in the same moment which makes you feel so seen and so understood and so loved and so worthy but you got to practice yourself into that and you don't practice yourself into that by needing it to be just this way and this way and this way all right so talk to us about what you sat down to talk to us about um, that was big friends yeah great wonderful um, 
There are a lot of us, especially in this room, who work with a lot of people of varying frequencies that come into our office in different aspects of their life. When somebody is really struggling, what's the best thing we could do for them? Path of least resistance. Sounds really like a simplistic answer, doesn't it? But if you take the, I'm not looking for the rightness and I'm not looking for control of them. I'm not trying to teach them a lesson. I'm not trying to punish them for where they are. I'm not even really trying to understand where they are because they don't want to be where they are. And my understanding of where that are is only going to cause two of us to be that point of attraction. Really not wanting to be too empathetic or sympathetic about where they are. I want to be like their inner being is and know where they want to be. So it's kind of a standing back approach, path of least resistance. So if you can give us an example, it would be easier. Give us something that's um, common. Well, actually, I'll give you an example of the path of least resistance. It's my dog who works with me. He. Um, well, talk about the people. Go that way first, and then you okay. can come back to that. So, if you for want. example, I. I um, being a doctor, I work with a lot of people who go through different types of experiences. I have people that have been um, through some severe trauma. Yes. And they're coming in to see me. Right. And, uh, you know, as somebody who wants to help to facilitate the vibration, I want to be able to help. And what do you think they think when they're coming to you? What do you think they're looking for in you? Relief. They're looking for relief. So they do want the path of least resistance. Yes. You've been listening to us for quite a while, most of you. And we've been talking nonstop for a couple of hours. And you heard new stuff here today. So when you're talking to a person that may not even know about the laws of the universe or about point of attraction or of anything like that, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. All you have to remember is what you want to be activated because what you activate you have a much greater probability of activating within them. So you're wanting to activate within yourself something that will feel uplifting to them. So here's our question to you. We have a few questions for you. Do you think that they are helpable? Um, of course. That's, it's, it's not that I need to help them. They're... Um... Well, that was a big question. Do you think that they are helpable? Yes. Otherwise, you wouldn't be doing that with almost the thing that you want. And you're saying, of course, they're helpable. And yet, sometimes it doesn't feel that possible, does it? And so that's why we ask it to you in such an impertinent way. And it's why we're giving you a hard time about your answer. Because sometimes you have to take a very general stance about someone in order to maintain your own vibration. And that's what I recognize is that sometimes when there is a struggle, it is my, it's a reflection of me. But you see, they have a different plan than you have. Yes. They don't like where they are mm -hmm. and they feel defensive about where they are and they know that you're there to help them, but they're going to give you as much information as they can give you to make you understand that it's not their fault where they are. So the soonest that you can help them know, hey, I get it. You don't want to be here and I don't want you to be there either. As soon as you can get that point across, you will sort of get that out of the way. And that's a big thing. They will fight for you to understand where they are. They say things like, I just want to be heard. I just want to be understood. Well, what's somebody like you all going to do with that information? They want to be heard about something that they don't want to continue. And you know, if you hear them about something that they don't want to continue, that you're going to help them perpetuate it. And you don't want to act like an asshole either. Which is and why I'm here asking so, the question. <laughs> so you have to decide how much do you want them to get this? Because the laws of the universe are either what they are or they aren't. And they are. And a victim cannot get to the solution that they are seeking when they feel like they are a victim. So your path of least resistance, hear this, we've never said this powerfully before. We've never talked to as powerful an attractor as you before either. Your path to helping them is empowering them. 
empowering them. It's uplifting and empowering are the same word. Uplifting and empowering. Not you having the power that you're giving them, but by knowing that the power is inherent within them. And there's just a small understanding that you mean to set straight right here and now. And that is, I know you can do this. Whether you say those words or not, that must be what you know. And that's why we said, do you believe that they are helpable? With every fiber of my being, I know it because I know the laws of the universe. And I can feel that their inner being knows what they want. And I can feel the life that they've lived and what they've put over there. And I can feel the calling of their inner being. And I can feel myself in sync with my inner being who's in sync with their inner being. And I can see us standing as a collective consciousness that's calling them and guiding them with every appropriate word. And there's no right or wrong here. There's just path of least resistance. I'm just going to be inspired to say what I say. And if somebody said, write that down and give me that recipe so that I can apply it in the next and the next, my answer must be, there is no recipe. It is something that is inspired in the moment by one who's connected to source energy and calling it through. And then you say some things like, hey, I wish you knew what I know about you as strong as I know it about you. And I don't expect you to know it all at once, but whoa, man, you're blowing me away. You're blowing me away. When I get a whiff of who you are and what you want. And it's okay that you're not there yet. You're not where you want to be. None of us are exactly where we want to be all the time. But ooh, you got some good things coming. You're going to have such a good time discovering the power of you. Uh, you're going to have such a good time discovering the power of you. It's going to be so easy for you to shed those layers that you picked up a little bit at a time. This is going to be easy for you. I feel it, man. I can feel it. I can feel it. I know it for sure. I know it for sure. And when you know something like that, one who's connected to your source energy in that way, you're more powerful than millions who are not. And for a minute, they'll believe you, you see. And whether they walk away with any concrete knowledge, they go home and they say, what did you hear? And they say, I have no idea. I have no idea. What did he tell you to do? I don't know. Well, did he write you a prescription? No. Yeah. Or yes. I get that all the time in the office. They're like, I don't know what he did, but I feel so much better. Well, then it's done. That's it. Soothing, uplifting is empowering. And that's the thing. That's why it's so lovely to visit with you is because we can feel that your goal is to empower them, not to be powerful and zap them. Your goal is to empower them. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Something more? I think it's if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next